Judy Fox, Fox Roxy. I'm glad to be here. Excited to be in Lima, Ohio. This is an amazing event. So, yes. that's what's going on. So, we connected a few months ago, probably, and we finally met in person. That It's me. It's you. It's you, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're. I did not say that. But I'm tall. I got 5'8. <laughs> I'm 6'1. What? I'm not that tall. But I do have some heels on. <laughs> <laughs> so, I never thought that LinkedIn would be a part of this live phenomenon. Yeah, they finally bit the bullet and added live to their lineup, but they're making so many incredible updates to the platform. I mean, Microsoft buying LinkedIn and all of that happening. I mean, I just kind of. I think a lot of us saw it finally coming, and that's why we were like, well, we get really active on LinkedIn. So when I try to tell people why LinkedIn, because a lot of people say they love it, but they don't quite understand how to utilize it. They say, well, the, everyone's telling me to be on it, but what the freaking heck? The number one thing I like to tell people is it's full of incredible decision makers and you can get access to them. And they are the movers and shakers of any industry, uh, restaurant industry, music industry, uh, hospitality, travel, tourism, art, business, engineering, uh, doctors, literally name an industry and somebody in that industry is on LinkedIn or they were on LinkedIn looking for a job at one point, but you can still find them and still get access to them. How in the world you got 3 million views in like a year or so? How does that happen on LinkedIn? Well, it's not overnight. I tell people I've been on LinkedIn since early 2000s and I've always been networking on there. I think adding the ability to have video on that platform creates this immediate sense of that no like and trust factor. So you just can get so much traction if you can build an audience on there and you know just be a part of the community and, and how did you capitalize on the, the three million views like did you do you have some of those people that sort of bought courses from you or what happens next um so because i was able to have that amount of views it got me access to great opportunities that i was able to leave my job so i ended up having several um, retainer corporate clients which was a great way to launch and then I was able to launch a group coaching. So a lot of people act like you have to have it all figured out and it has to be all planned out. And it ha No, that's not, number one, that's not my personality. It's just not. And I mean, I love Richie Norton's book, The Power of Starting Something Stupid. Do you know that book? I don't. Okay, it's really powerful because um, this, this is all just kind of the game of life. And I'm not trying to minimize that it, game doesn't minimize it. It just means why are we taking everything so seriously to such a degree? We're just trying to get by on this planet and interact with each other and make things happen. And yes, we need to put food on the table and do all the things, but it's kind of a game. Judy has an engineering background. Yes. Like she is super smart. You, <laughs> you better watch out. So I, I got my degree in chemical engineering and I got my master of science in environmental management and sustainability. So to try to convince people... I don't even know what that means, <laughs> sustainability and all that. Um, it, it had a lot to do with um, working with some of the CEOs of major companies and it, sustainability, creating um, a world where we are not taking from either the earth, the resources, or the economic. We call it a three-legged stool. So the three pillars are the economy, the environment, and then the last one is the social. Um, we as humans need to connect. It's like that Maslow's hierarchy of needs. And we also need to um, not, like let's just say, in a blunt level, the more depressed a society is, the more like uh, terrible acts of like violence or anything like that that all is built on a fabric of social like 
we as social human beings need to respect and hold space and love and care for each other. So you have to have those three pillars in play or else how can the world keep turning? And that is what sustainability is. Is LinkedIn for every niche, from music to everything else? Can anything work? thousand percent say it's for every niche and I tell people that because for example as a musician you could connect with um, different people throughout the chain of music um, from equipment and from hosting platforms people who literally run these platforms like I don't know where you host your music or do those things but right when some of those ex executives to decision makers to managers of those companies beyond LinkedIn. I remember uh, a few years ago I needed to reach someone and I found her on LinkedIn that she was in that whole premium thing where I can only get access to her if I, I guess, paid or something like that. Is that still the case with premium? Um, premium does get you access to people you're not first degree connected to, but what I help people do is to get that first degree connection so you don't have to pay for premium because that's the power of networking. You don't have to constantly be sending in mails or... I don't know. Like I, I find it very interesting that people haven't figured out a way to network to the people they want to connect with in a healthy way. Wow! And how can someone find you on LinkedIn? I am putting out a course on LinkedIn like a fox. So basically, if you want to find me, it, the easiest way is probably J U D I F O X. And you can search for me online. It's my website, JDIFOX. Everywhere it's JDIFOX. <laughs> Judy, it's always a pleasure talking to you. Your energy, your vibe is just amazing. And your wealth of knowledge. You're so knowledgeable in this field that I'm clueless about. So you have become my number one person for where LinkedIn is concerned. So I'm building my list of people for different things. You know, the Judy Foxes, the Stephanie Luz, you know, the Jen Herman. I'm loving it, man. Thank you so much for chit chatting with me on Demons Meet Alive. The world, baby, kick your shoes off. You don't have to hide.